Hey everyone, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to take a look at again what happened last week. We're going to take a look at all the market index along with the volatility index. We will also take a look at some of the catalysts that are coming up next week. And within those catalysts, we are going to break it down based on some of the volatility we saw from some of the stocks. We are also have a lot of earnings which are coming out and we will also look at two special events that are coming out which are very important considering those are some big name companies like 3M and Meta. So if you find any value out of today's video, leave that like and without further ado, let's dive in. All right, let's get straight to the point. S&P 500 in the last five days dipped 2.05%, which is almost 92 points off. They started the week at 4,511 and they ended the week at 4,417. We saw a similar trend with Dow Jones, which fell 0.93%. It also started at 3565 and ended the week at 3472. NASDAQ saw the biggest drop of 3.02%, started the week at 14,220, ended the week at 13,784. What is interesting that we saw Russell, which is a small cap, was actually up 0.44%. So that seems like a very interesting fact. But Wix was up 15%. Started the week with Wix around being 23 points and it consistently dipped around the 20 level mark around the midweek time. And then by the time it was Friday, it jumped all the way to 29 points, slowly ending the week at about 27 points. If you look at the index correlation with the Wix, you can see as the Wix goes down, which means the volatility goes down, the index pops up. And so we can see that there's a lot of volatility in the market. What are some of the main cause of volatility? Of course, you know, the stock market, the inflation data, the rising interest rates, you have tensions among Russia and Ukraine, you have rising oil prices. So all these fa different factors are adding fear to the market and volatility to the market as well. Now Friday was a bloodbath and we saw this across. The entire stock market was down with red and you saw Google dragging down 3.13%. You had Amazon down 3.59, Tesla down, TSM down, Facebook. So all the big names basically dragged that entire market down and we saw a similar trend across all different market caps except the Russell 2000 ended the week in the positive. What to watch out for the week of February 14th onwards. From a volatility standpoint, we will be keeping a very close eye on two major stocks. Number one is a firm. It fell off 43%. If you don't know why a firm fell, here's a quick video to see the five reasons why a firm crashed. The second stock that will be on the watch as well will be Zillow which was up 13% even when the broader market was down. Now this was because they reported a robust Q4 revenue growth. If you want me to do a video on Zillow, let me know in the comment section below. We also saw Astra was in a lot of news because of their failed mission. This is very common when it comes to the rocket companies that they actually have a lot more failures than success, but this is an important part of the whole process. Astra will also face a lot of volatility coming to next week and we may see a lot of put options that will be raised against Astra. We also saw a big jump in the short interest for backed holdings and Ray, ticker symbol BKKT and REI. The short interest for BKKT right now stands at 29.74% and for REI, it stands at 22.07%. So those are very high short interest and it will be very interesting to see how this week leads into for these particular stocks. Of course, the earnings season is still in full swing, even though we had the major ultra cap companies already reported earnings, some were hit, some were a miss. But next week also is going to give us a very good clue on how 2022 will perform. So looking on Tuesday right now, we have Marriott, we have Wynn, we have Airbnb. Very important companies to see how the tourism industry is going to perform, how is the hotel business going to perform, and it will tell us the sentiments for the demand for 2022. So very important to watch these three companies. We also have Roblox. Now Roblox, if you know, is very important player in the metaverse. So we also want to see how Roblox is looking at metaverse. If you remember the earnings call from Facebook, they did not talk much about metaverse. However, it is very important to see how these companies are adopting to metaverse, what are their plans for the coming years. And this will give us a good guidance on how this area is evolving. Now moving on to Wednesday, 
right before open, we have Shopify, one of the most important companies that I think should be on your radar, if, if not in your portfolio. Well, this was in my top 10 stocks for 2022 because it is a digital disruptor, gives an average Joe an opportunity to become an entrepreneur. So definitely check that out, the video right over here for top 10 stocks for 2022 and Shopify is on that list. We also have Hilton. So between Marriott, Hilton, Wynn, Airbnb, we'll get a complete picture of 2022 guidance for the tourism industry. We also have the big player Nvidia going to report earnings you want to see how the supply chain is happening, how is the semiconductor chip shortage is happening, how is the 2022 and 2023 looking for from a semiconductor standpoint. We also have Matterport and we have QuantumScape reporting earnings. We will also have Cisco, a very important player to watch in this space because they have most recently bid an offer to buy out Splunk. And then Thursday before open, we have Palantir, one of the most important stocks from a retail standpoint. Walmart will also give us an idea for 2022, how the supply chain issue is impacting them. And then Roku, uh, one of the big players in Kathy Wood's stock portfolio. We have to see how Roku performs and their future guidance that will also give us an idea on how the ARC funds are going to perform for 2022. And then right before the Friday opening, we will see DraftKings. Now, DraftKings is very important because the Super Bowl on Sunday, which is today, is forecasted to see around 31.4 million Americans betting a combined total of $7.6 billion. This is an estimate from the American Gaming Association. The betting handle is 78% higher than the last year's tally with sports betting up and running this year in Arizona. Connecticut, Louisiana, Maryland, North Carolina, North Dakota, South Dakota, Washington, Wisconsin, and Wyoming as they have legalized the sports betting. Over $1 billion is forecasted by PlayUSA.com to be bet at retail sports books or through a sports betting app. Nevada is forecasted to produce the largest Super Bowl handle with $175 million followed by New York with a projection of $160 million. So as you can clearly see, the online betting is becoming a very, very big industry and DraftKings is set to gain. So it will be very important to watch how DraftKings provides its future guidance outlook. Now, I don't expect DraftKings to go to the moon in 2022, but this is going to be a long hold especially in this growth phase now there are three events this week that i want to watch specifically now number one is the event hosted by 3m where they will discuss how their fundamental strengths are leveraged across businesses to create value along with the updates on strategic priorities growth trends capital allocation priorities and sustainability if you know 3m is a very important industrial company from a dividend investing standpoint 3m is one of the most popular dividend paying companies so the company will also provide its full year financial outlook for 2022 and will hold Q&A and to get an idea on the growth of this company. The next important event will be Facebook Meta Platform will hold an all hands employee meeting during which a major announcement is anticipated on how the company plans to realize its Metaverse version. The company could attract more attention to the round hall ball metaverse ETF, which I have done. You can check it out right over here. This could be one of the most important events from a Facebook investor standpoint. If you invest in Facebook today, I would highly encourage that you track this story, make sure that you understand the vision and collect all the information to see how Facebook is progressing. And here are my bullish and bearish reason on Facebook, why I think it's still a major company. And with this meeting, and if they have some announcement on Metaverse, it will be the one of the most washed out events. And the lastly, we will have the release of the FOMC minutes. So we'll get a little bit more details from the minutes as opposed to just the highlights we got earlier. So there you go. That was a quick roundup on what we can expect in the week of February 14th. Let me know in the comments which of these events you are most looking forward to. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like, click on subscribe and ring the bell notification. I will see you next time, Investor Family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.